Pathways' latest production, Mytham Road in Cragvale, begins at the border between Lancashire and Yorkshire, close to the shores of Whitehome Reservoir. It's the fourth film in our series, The Valleys of Calderdale, and will take us through some outstanding natural beauty, as well as revealing the valley's historical legacy. The valley is situated in the heart of the South Pennines in Calderdale, in the north of England, featuring the villages of Mytham Royd and Cragvale. This is where our river begins its life, not from a single spring, but emerging from a thousand sources, leaking out of that vast peaty sponge we know as the moors. The high rainfall levels on the Pennines has meant the moors are perfectly placed to act as catchment areas, with a system of dikes and conduits snaking along the contours diverting the water into the reservoirs. The moors are wild, isolated places where little grows except the heather and tough grasses, at home in the peat the product of thousands of years of rotting vegetation in the waterlogged conditions. But it creates its own austere, wuthering beauty. The moors have a stark beauty about them, but you cross these endless bogs at your peril. It's hard to believe that this tranquil valley once pulsed with the noise and pollution of eleven mills. Here, just below Green Bank, is the first mill we meet on our trail. Turvin Mill, built in the early 19th century. By 1833 it employed 57 workers, 31 being children, whose appalling working conditions will be discussed later. Being so high on the moors, it had a continual water supply problem, which was solved by a goit stretching half a mile up the valley. It continued in production until it was demolished in 1919. The dam remains and has made a very attractive water garden. Retrace your steps to the top of Greenbank Terrace and descend to the river by way of some steep stone steps. Just pause for a while and pay tribute to this little brook that's done so much work over hundreds of years. How about that? Digest the information on the second notice board. It gives further detail of the mill stories and the families behind their development. It commenced in 1861 as a cooperative venture by the Cragvale Manufacturing Company, with many local people investing their savings in the project. It was built for the manufacture of cotton goods. However, the company ran out of money and it remained empty and windowless for some time. It was bought by Hinchliffe Hinchliffe, one of the important dynasty of mill masters in the valley, who seized the opportunity to buy it for a fraction of its cost. It prospered until it closed in 1933 and was demolished in 1955. Mythamroyd was initially settled on a wide valley floor with an open character, surrounded by gentle slopes, not hemmed in by hills like so many of its close neighbours. In fact, its name means an open space where rivers meet, and this wide basin of identity has given plenty of room for expansion over the years. At first it produced a pattern of scattered farmsteads like Broadbottom Farm, White Lee and Mythamroyd Farm. The next reason for its site is that it grew up around a crossing point over the River Calder, with the ford being replaced by a frequently repaired wooden bridge. It's a tribute to the architect Timothy Wadsworth that the stone bridge he designed in 1684 still forms the basis of the present day one, it being widened and strengthened as the juggernauts have got bigger. A new span was added recently to make the journey across less of a bridge of fear for pedestrians. There was little housing west of the village, but a second bridge was added at Caldine in 1909, both to alleviate pressure on County Bridge and to accommodate future development. It was the first in the country to be built using reinforced concrete. There were three major factors in the next phase of Mythenroy's rapid industrial development, all involving transport. 
First came the turnpikes in the 1760s, providing much better roads both up Cragvale and along the valley floor to Lancashire. The canal came in 1798, providing the mills with a much improved means of moving goods and materials both in and out. Then came the railways in 1841, with the station being added later. The viaduct is an important feat of engineering, and the marshalling yards made it one of the busiest in the valley. By the middle of the 19th century, the landscape was dwarfed by huge mills as these photos show. Mythenroyd Mill was at the heart. Built in 1794, it burnt down in 1892. Its chimney, a giant at 165 feet high, was demolished in 1898 in spectacular fashion by Joseph Smith, champion chimney smasher. Its name had been changed to Grange Mill by the Fielding family, who built a Victorian mansion for themselves in the grounds. The house eventually became a doctor's residence and surgery which was demolished in the 1960s. This created the space for the development of the very attractive Grangedean Medical Health Centre in 2004. 